What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back in Toronto, and today we've got, oh my dear lord. This abomination right here will make sense in a moment because we've got the new Curio Merchant items and they're beautiful, man. So let me tell you, let me tell you this. I say this in every one of these videos because I want to hammer this home. I hate what this NPC represents because essentially he is selling us items that would normally be part of a bundle or a pack that essentially are being sold independently of a store pack. They're not sold in a store pack and they're like 10 times the price. Like normally you would buy like a $20 pack that would give you multiple costumes, multiple mounts, but these are like 10 bucks each. Like it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, or at least, well, a thousand, thousand credits. Yeah. A thousand credits, oh, five bucks each. Either way, that's hella expensive. A little over five bucks, especially, you know, being my monopoly Canadian money. Anyways, point is, I thought to myself, dude, you know what would be cool? Is if they had all of these costumes, including the locked one in a store pack that you could buy immediately and was overall cheaper than uh, buying all of these independently. That would actually make them money though. So the Trove devs would never think of it. So anyways, this one's worth 10K cubits. These are a thousand credits each. Uh, we essentially have to wait five days for this costume to cycle out so that we can buy a different one that is part of the set. And once we end up having all of the paid costumes out of the set, we get the lurking lemur for free, which is a, uh, I don't know if that's a shadow hunter costume or something. And he's got a bow. Oh, that's a Solarian costume. That's hilarious. Uh, anyways, let's let's check them out. So we've got the Boomer costume right here, which is a monkey. Kill me, no later. And he's got a little butterfly that, I mean, I the only reference I can understand why he's got a little butterfly is just because I could totally picture this little monkey just going Hum, and just eating it. Um, VFX are all monkey stuff and very beautiful. I don't know why there's Arctic ice to it and flames and just, it's, it's just so evil. Uh, we throw down pine cones. We throw down our little babies, as you see. You saw the giant one up there, so pretty cool stuff. Uh, there's also going to end up being the melee weapon, which of course is even more banana. And uh, the effects are very strange because he's got galactic banana spins of destiny. Whatever, cool. Uh, I don't understand it, but anyways, let me get my sword back on my other guy. Uh, and then the other costume that we had is, what is this? What class is this? Candy bar. <gasps> Candy bar? Really? Okay. I'll take it. Oh my dear lord. <laughs> I mean, at least they're putting in the work for these costumes, dude. Holy crap. This thing is beautiful. He looks so stupid from the back, though. <laughs> he looks like he's got skin problems. Uh, very dope. What is his weapon? Is that like kelp, I guess? And then crabs on it. Does he got unique VFX? It is blue VFX, but it seems like it's glitching a little bit. His spin is whatever. Uh, his number one is never changed because I don't know why they never changed that ability. And then his ultimate ability is just a giant fish or a giant kelp or something. I don't know, but at least we got bubble VFX. Very cool uh, candy barb costume. Love the detail. Love the disgustingly gigantic teeth is adorable. Uh, and then we've got the Draco costume and this one might be my favorite Draco costume in the game because he already is a Morlock and looks disgusting. Like, look at him. Look. <laughs> I, I picture like if once upon a time I wanted to make Trove Machinima, but it just was like way too tedious to try and do because I basically would have to have a second account logged in at the same time for different camera angles and stuff. And this would be like the character, like in my head, I could just totally see, he'd be the character in the background or like the character where he would like go on a date and the, you know, like the girl would be like talking about like how he's such a good listener and like she's totally misunderstanding the situation and thinking that he's like really good boyfriend material. But meanwhile, he hasn't got like a single brain cell activated at one time and is just literally just sitting there staring into the void. That's what I picture with him. Like he just, and why has he got so many nipples? Uh, and then there's also going to end up being his little baby. <coughs> <coughs> 
I don't know what it is, but I love it. It's such a stupid costume. I can't believe that this is in the game. What's the effects? Broken effects. So I use the uh, Draco basic attack overhaul and I'm assuming, yeah, that messed up the VFX. I don't know why. It's just the blue VFX from the other costume. A little bit lame, honestly speaking, that it's not like water or something, but whatever. The fire looks so dated from this, from this thing. Ridiculous. Anyways, our number one. Oh my dear Lord, look at him. He's beautiful. He's so stupid. Father, oh, oh my god. And then somehow turns into a puffer fish. So that means you, he goes like. <laughs> <laughs> Die, my child. Oh my dear lord. This is the best Draco costume in the whole game. Like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> no, I need to be, wait, I need to be on like Sebastian. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Yes. Oh my god. He looks so stupid. Wait, I need to find... Okay, there's got to be a mount in here somewhere that I can find that's going to work better. The platypus? I mean, that actually looks kind of adorable because it looks like he's being carried like by this other creature. <laughs> Hold on. There's got to be something else in here. Let me see. Oh, we could do the whirly mount. Hold on. <laughs> Dude, I need like an ego potion right now. <laughs> I might main Draco again just for this. <laughs> oh, that's too good, dude. <laughs> oh man, what a good costume. Holy crap. I might actually main Draco again, but I don't want to because the only thing that I would main Draco for is for the delves. There, I feel like there's got to be like a there's got to be like a tinier amount somewhere in here that I can rock right or or what about maybe like a mag rider? Um. Oh yeah, what does he look like on the dance pad actually? No 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 no! I need to see him dancing like this. Oh. It's so weird because his hands go like inside himself. Good lord. Anyways, that's that's gonna do it for me today, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome stuff. Love these costumes. I'm not the biggest fan of the lemur, so hopefully the uh, other costume is a good one. We've slowly been getting all the animal costumes for every class, which is pretty cool. Uh, but unfortunately, I still I still wish like I missed the days of getting like a store pack that gave us actually like valuable stuff, because right now like the latest store pack was actually just the bamboo dragon pack, which is atrocious uh lots of you guys keep asking like oh do you see this pack in the store you see this pack in the store yes check the channel there's no new packs in the store those are all old packs that you just haven't seen before because a lot of the packs in this game are time gated um so yeah uh it means that basically i already have videos covering all of them anyways it also uh i recorded this just as it went to daily reset so i gotta go grind my cubits now thanks for watching smash like sub for more by the merchant monster the channel have a wonderful day everybody